I am Kokichi Sugihara, major university in Japan. In this talk, I will propose a new class of 3D objects named ambiguous tiling and present a method for designing this class of objects. Tiling is a 2D pattern covered by basic figures called tiles. In this example, a ginkgo leaf tile and its copies can cover the whole plane and give a tiling pattern. In this talk, we restrict to a subclass of tiling called isohedral tiling, in which the plane is covered by copies of a single tile and the placement rules of a tile and its surrounding tiles are identical for all tiles. The isohedral tiling is well studied. An ambiguous cylinder is a cylinder-shaped object whose section has two different appearances when seen from two special viewpoints. The left image shows an example, which seems a flower, but in the mirror it changes to a butterfly. As shown in the right image, the top curve of the cylinder is not flat. It waves ups and downs. However, the bottom curve also waves in the same way, and so the length of the cylinder is the same wherever we measure it, which gives us an impression that the top curve is a planar section obtained by cutting the cylinder by a plane perpendicular to the axis. Two shapes can be realized by an ambiguous cylinder if there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between vertically aligned points on the boundaries. This can be understood in the following way. Suppose that we have two curves on the xy plane, ax and bx, that are x monotone, and we fix two view directions, v1 and v2, that are parallel to the yz plane. Then, for each value of x, we construct two lines passing through the two points ax and bx parallel to the two view directions respectively and find the point of their intersection, say cx. If we do this for all values of x, we get a space curve cx, which coincides with the given two curves when seen in the two view directions. We move the curve CX vertically and adopt a swept surface, thus obtaining an object whose top curve realizes two desired shapes. So we can make an ambiguous cylinder if we can decompose the boundaries of the two given shapes to X monotone curves in such a way that they have one to one correspondence. So, in order to make an ambiguous tiling, the two tiles should have one-to-one -one correspondences for all pairs of orientations that appear in the tiling. However, we are lucky because some placement rules automatically guarantee the one-to-one -one correspondence. Here we have a tile of a hawk and that of a uruk head, which have one-to-one -one correspondence for their left orientations. We place the tiles by translation, rotation, and reflections to cover the plane. The correspondence is kept if we place the tiles by horizontal reflection, 180 degree rotation, or vertical reflection. Making use of these properties, we can construct the ambiguous tiling relatively easily. Here are examples of ambiguous tilings obtained by the proposed method. A ginkgo leaf tiling changes to a maple leaf tiling. The ninja food tiling changes to a shuriken knife tiling, and so on. Here are concluding remarks. We present a new concept of ambiguous tiling and present a method for designing this. Thank you very much.